I am ready to play WRC World Rally Championship, the very first game in the series, the original. Coming out on the PS2, not the PS1. I'm curious how it'll compare to Colin McRae. Since it's being a PS2 game, it'll probably be a lot prettier than the first two Colin McRae games on PS1, but... Uh, man, this menu looks familiar. You know, there's a big chance I might have played this in the past, because... There were some rally games I played. Oh man, even that sound. Even that sound is uh, pretty, pretty nostalgic. I might have actually played this game. Just judging by the sounds and the menus. Let me just turn, balance out the volume a little bit over here. Great save file. Dude, this sounds super familiar. I might have played this. Not gonna lie. That's uh, a long save time. It's taking its time to save. <clears throat> wow, that took long. Holy fuck. Pollution Studios. I'm curious. Let's see if I recognize the intro. Not really. The intro doesn't speak much to me. This music though. I've heard this song before. Now this music sounds familiar. Might be in a menu somewhere. If this is the menu music, then I know I've probably played this. <laughs> the fans <laughs> helping the car back up, gotta love that. That's pretty, pretty freaking awesome, actually. Just imagine being there and just helping a car get up after it's flipping. This is a long intro, dudes. I like it. That was a very long intro. <laughs> We're like five minutes in now. 
Yep, it, it's the main menu. I think I might have played this then. It sounds super familiar. Alright, we've got different things. We've got the World Rally Championship. The single race. WRC Challenge, what is that? That's interesting. Hmm, extras. Movies. Game yeah, intro, Monaco, Sweden, Portugal, Spain. Why do I only have these? Secrets, secret codes. All right, let's go to options. I like this options menu. Like that probably should be on actually. We'll see. Mostly it doesn't need to happen, but we'll see. Controller setup. Let's see what we got. I want to accelerate with. Uh... There we go. Ooh, wheel support. That's pretty dank. Right-handed. Gear up, gear down, yeah, seems pretty good. And break. Alright, this seems like a good one. Analog. Semi automatic. Manual gear change plus. Alright, let's first do a time trial, actually. I just want to get used to the controls first. Oh, we got different cars. Ooh, that's a sexy looking Peugeot. Focus. Oh, so many beautiful cars. I don't know, man. I should go with the Lancer. I just don't know. like all kinds of setups here as well. I didn't even see a fucking map. But yeah, let me just get used to the controls first. See yeah, how that will be. See how the game drives, how the graphics are and all that shit. It's gonna be a difficulty selection for me because you know, I will probably suck at this. <clears throat> but yeah, first just quick time trial. I'm not gonna finish it entirely, I think, but I just wanna like Get used to the controls. Ooh. Three, two, one, go! That's a loud ass game. What the hell is that sound? What the hell is that sound? Alright, the car does look a bit wide. Yeah, this looks a bit better, I think. Alright, this is, uh... 
definitely interesting. We got middle screen here. The cockpit mode is meh. Yeah, only one third person uh, window. Interesting. Alright. Alright, interesting. This is gonna be hard to get used to. It feels like a freaking shopping cart. <laughs> Welcome to one of the most demanding and challenging motorsport competitions on the planet. The World Rally Championship. Take some of the best drivers in the world. Add some of the most incredible cars and mix in some tarmac, gravel and ice. Forget about first across the line to race in the WRCs against the toughest rival of all, time. Each rally is broken into stages with points for the fastest times taken to complete the overall event. The cars themselves carry the names of some familiar family motors. But under the skin, their purpose-built rally machines with four-wheel drive, turbos galore and horsepower counted in the hundreds. They'll need it too with conditions across the championship ranging from sub-zero Scandinavian forests to the overpowering heat and dust of Kenya and Greece. With the World Rally Championship, it's not just a question of winning, but surviving. Yeah. Alright, let's go novice because I'm probably a scrub. So yeah, car selection, again, just... These are all beautiful cars. The thing is, I drove this one in one of the Colin McRae games. I drove this one last time in Colin McRae 2. Or we can go with the Peugeot 206. Alright, fuck it, let's go. I'm basically replacing uh, one of the other drivers. Monaco, Monte Carlo. There are few rallies more prestigious or glamorous than Monte Carlo, and this is where the World Rally Championship begins. It starts in Monaco, then heads up onto Alpine Roads further north before dropping back down into the Principality. It's run entirely on tarmac, but snow and ice always make for a few surprises. We start with the tarmac the event right? in the WRC calendar is the one the top teams really want to win. Damn. A bit of history. Snowy weather. I guess short gear ratio is fine here. Brake strength, steering, tires dry, wet spikes. Well, there's snow, but it's only probably for like on heavy snow, not on tarmac with a bit of snow. Suspension, yeah, we're gonna go on tarmac card suspension, definitely. Shakedown options. Alright, let's do this shit, let's begin. Begin. Hopefully this will be good. 
It's just, you know, new racing game. Got uh, almost every racing game, you just gotta get used to the controls. Three, two, one, go! Hello? Control's not doing anything. Uh, hello? Why did my controls reset? They reset my control. <laughs> why game? Why you do this? Why you? Why do you reset my controls? No, oh, it's right here. Don't tell me I have to manually change it in the career mode. I saw like a uh, options menu somewhere over here. Um, yeah. Did this set up properly? They accelerate. Steering. Why is the... What the fuck? Not good. It's just not putting in, like, during the time trial it reacted just fine, but right now it's just... For some reason it didn't want to accelerate with the right stick. Nope, it just doesn't do it. Oh wait, maybe I can't yet. Three, two, one, go. There we go, finally. Oh boy. Oh shit. The uh... Wow, this is like, awkward with the... With the uh... Shifts. Shifting is super awkward. It's like a delay with shifting down. Oh boy. Oh, so we have a map. Super slow with shifting down, it's very weird. I haven't seen that in any other games. It's a super slow shift. Okay, three seconds ahead. I guess it wasn't too easy.
I like that you can restart individual races. That's a nice addition. Uh... That's me. It still feels like just a little bit too uh too much like a uh like a shopping cart. I think lots of old games kinda had that shopping cart feel to it. I don't know. Three Maybe just me. Two one go. Uh, why, why did it? Long left four. Long left four, okay, got it. Oh boy, I'm, I'm like, see how the... Yeah, I'm just handling like a shopping cart, like moving left and right, rotating. So my vehicle got repaired. Currently. Uh, that's not good. Focus on trying to not drive like absolute shit. But hey, the graphics have improved a lot, haven't they? It's also one of the first games I've been able to use a handbrake while manual shifting. Now I'm uh, still again thinking if I should stay playing on the easy difficulty or not. It really depends how it'll go, but... You know, I don't like having it too easy, but I don't like having it too hard either. Very often it's uh, hard to get into a proper difficulty. It's either too hard or too easy. But, depending on how long the game is, I would be willing to try doing the second championship, I don't know. Depends how much I'm enjoying it. Plus, uh, there's a chance the difficulty might spike later on. Oh, 
Uh, definitely getting slightly more arcade vibes from this. Because the car just repairs after everything, unless that's a difficulty thing. seconds ahead. That's a bit too much. I might want to try out medium. <clears throat> Whoa, what the hell is this sub music? Saving. Ooh, auto save. This game is ahead of its time. I oh, still need to manually save. Good thing. Okay, let's first save that in case we want to continue on easy, but I'm gonna try out medium. Because I am getting. Too easy vibes. Oh, is that normal? Yeah, okay, good. sweaty from the sudden heat. I could get so much warmer during the night all of a sudden. Well, that feels good actually. Alright, let's see how medium difficulty Three, is. Two, one. Sell first, it seems. Oh, this seems doable. Yeah, this is more than doable, medium. one thing when I hear the code driver better it's a long right four 
important shit. Ooh, see, this is better. A two second difference. That's more balanced. Oh, there's no restart race option, though. Ooh. That sucks that they took that away. Boy. Save the game. Shall continue. Let's see if we can like restart the race during the race. That's a thing. Shifted too early, or attempted to. Oh yeah, I also have a map. I can use that to my advantage. Bit of a bad start, I think. Bad start. This is a lot more satisfying. The controls are definitely something to get used to, but it feels a lot more comfortable than a lot of other rally games. Like, I feel more in control in the end, despite still having to get used to it. So, look at the snow covering the car slowly. I like that. It's like five seconds ahead. Five seconds ahead. Oh, it just slams into the wall there. <laughs> Roadkill into the crowd. I didn't check if I could restart during the race. I guess it's auto saving the uh the records and not the other things. Oh, do I want medium suspension here or medium gear I show I mean? Go for the medium. It looked looked like a straighter road. What were 
work in there too. <clears throat> Too bad the loading time is a bit slow. Like, loading into races takes a while. Three, two, one, go! Uh, maybe I should have given that long gear race show. <laughs> hey Slayer dude. Welcome, welcome man. How you doing? Nice to see you. Oh man, that corner was so satisfying. I too kind of like the controls a bit more. Ooh, that was close to the wall. Right right three, 50, right four. Into right four. 150, left three. 100, long right three. That timer. Oh, it's just not the split anymore. Nice, four seconds ahead. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm doing good. Better than t this morning. I was absolutely fucked with the hangover from last night. <laughs> but I'm doing good. Uh, Light is having Gola. That sounds good. Yeah, he showed me uh, the pictures. Pretty, pretty happy for you, man. There you go. That I'm glad that it excites you. <laughs> Let's get here. Yep, that's true. We'll have a nice collection of uh, history, like a little, like a little, uh, I was resetting my gear ratio. Yeah. Interesting. Got a little museum. You're imagining the whole picture already. That's good. I'm glad that you have uh, those plans already. It's very good to have those kind of plans. Yeah, yeah. Three, two, one, go! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, I'm off to a bad start. Definitely not gonna be first place now. That's a lot of hairpins in a row.
Alright, here we got the nice straight. All my gear ratios will hopefully work out a bit. Zero eight. Into right four. As long as you don't fall off the mountain here, we'll be fine. So this is 60 FPS I think. This game looks really smooth. Alright, let's read up on chat. Uh um, is heavier than the Walder PP. Issue compared. Finished second? What the fuck? No, I I mean I had a few BB guns, but those were like plastic ones, nothing impressive. Cool of you, man. Ooh, that's a lot of corners. I'll take a short gear ratio, which it defaults to. I'm surprised that I got second place on that last one. Maybe, maybe my gear ratio was just too bad, I don't know. Three, two, one, go! 100 long, right four. Oh, what the fuck was that? That was a weird physics moment. How am I third? We're off to a bad start. Shit. I think I got suspension damage. Can I restart? I cannot restart the race. 
Hopefully my suspension won't make that much of a difference. This is a steep ass hill, just saying. Look how steep this shit is. Just imagine driving 130 kilometers an hour here. Look how steep this is. I wonder what all the other air comes on. Steering to my gears. Oil, oil damage, oil leak. Oh boy. That was a bit chaotic. Whew. The new tool album is up. Oh, nice. Time to duel. Didn't I have like a sound of command for that? It's time to du 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 duel. There we go. like the, the cracks if they're hearable. <laughs> Let's continue. Oh, I won the rally. Oh yeah, this is 2001 season. We're going to Sweden. They call Sweden the land of the midnight sun, where temperatures drop as low as minus 20. This is where the World Rally Championship moves to next. The conditions in the Scandinavian forests mean the cars need studded tires to cope with layers of snow and ice lying on top of gravel. It may be the coldest rally of them all, but the competition is as hot as ever. Snow. It kind of defaults to what is uh, recommended, it seems. This might be one of the first, if not the first, rally game on the PS2. There might have been a few others, but 
at least from the big franchises, this one came out before uh, Call of McRae 3 on the PS2. <clears throat> and I think the game is very smooth. It, it's smooth frame rate, graphics look pretty dank. Three, two, one, go! I went in reverse at the start when I was in my neutral. I shouldn't know. Maybe I should have held my handbrake. Well, this is slippery. Slippery, boys. Also, my head itches for a moment. Oh, so much better. Don't you have that one super itchy spot and then you like scratch? It's like, ah, oh, the best feeling ever. Snow on top of gravel. Yeah, or ice sometimes. Sometimes they're crazy enough to race on ice. Ah! Tree. Trunky is playing a rally game. His tree fetish has returned. I keep. I have to keep getting used to the fact that it's so slippery. I'm still first, apparently, after all those crashes. Jump. And suddenly we're second. We were first the whole time and then suddenly we're second. Okay, GG dude. The logics. Oh boy, let's not crash into trees this time. Maybe that will help. Hey Strunky, have you thought about not driving into trees all the time? We're not gonna find any bananas in trees in Sweden. Swedish trees have no bananas, trust me. Okay. No bananas for Strunky in Swedish trees. Tree fetish keeps me returning. Yeah, I love all the forests. I'm a big tree hugger. Oh, that was slippery. Seconds ahead. Can do it. Very long. Left four. Right four. Left five. Into long right five. Oh, I've never really. Use the button to latch behind. 
I don't even know which button that is. Triangle is change camera. I don't know if there's a look behind. Shit, 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 fuck. I always like it when cars get dirty in games. Look at all the snow covering on my covering my car. Ooh, six second lead. Yeah, a little bit. It's always nice to see them just get dirty. Adds that sense of that you're actually driving a car. And then, like, when you drive through a pool of water, the part of it washes off. That's awesome as well. And then you see, like, the car being wet and stuff like that. Like, those are just the little details that I really like. Hello there, Plain John. I, uh, I really do not care about beating anyone's record. I'm playing this for the first time, and I'm just doing a casual playthrough. Three, two, one, go! Yeah, I always do manual shifts ever since I started doing that in racing games. I just don't enjoy automatic shifting anymore. It's like it's something that you can't really come back to. It's the same when playing something like Guitar Hero. When you start playing stuff on hard and expert and using the orange button, you kind of don't want to go back to medium anymore without the orange button. Once you go manual, there's no turning back. Uh oh. chat as soon as you get better the hang of manual shifting you can't go back yeah exactly automatic ain't realistic well it's not realistic but some people prefer to just use automatic it's everyone's choice plus plenty of cars are automatics but I don't think racing has a lot of automatics but in the end, you know, it's all if uh, about the player if he enjoys using automatic or he wants to play manual. And it's always good that there's an option for that. Yeah, this is the first time playing this game. But I have played other rally games. I played Call of McRae 1 and 2 on PS1. And I play a lot of other rally games. Left 
Well, I'm not performing very well now, I'd say. Oh yeah, I play a lot of racing lately, Carmageddon, Need for Speed, I want to play Burnout as well. Uh, Toka, I've been playing a lot. Oh shit. Sadly, Carmageddon doesn't offer manual shifting. It's only automatic. Oh, I totally fucked up. <laughs> Rip. Oh god, I fucked up. Oof. I should be dead now. Good thing I don't have any damage, it seems. Still second place, four seconds behind. Oof. I'm not paying enough attention to the map, honestly. I should pay more attention to it. My car is dirty. I'm Probably second place. Oh no, I got first. Oof. Ever going for motocross games? Uh, probably. I have still yet to find a good one. I found one that I bought on the sale and then it turned out to have the same bug where the sound would disappear after every race. So I refunded that game. I have to find like other motocross games that are kind of better. I mean, if you've got good recommendations, you're always free to uh, link them in the uh, recommendation uh, section on Discord. And I'll be sure to look them up because I'm definitely interested in motocross. the only one you know red line racer as well but that's normal bikes oh i know there's like a gran turismo game with bikes which is called tourist trophy i think i have it somewhere my brother bought that once i might have to play that also want to go back to gran turismo as well gran turismo is uh lots Three, of fun two, one. Well, at least they cleaned up my car. Yeet. Yeet. 0.09. I'm almost gonna sneeze. 
Ooh. Holy shit. Excuse me. Convention, I could have picked every fucking old game I can remember and see if I can do this. Uh, I mean, you don't have to do that, and I can't guarantee that I'm interested in every single one, but maybe like next year, if I have some more money, I'd be able to go with you and buy some games as well. And like when I have like a proper list, but you know, if you really, really want to gift me any games, you know. I, I appreciate that, but you don't have to give me anything. And like, currently, currently, what I'm, I guess, kind of looking for is uh, uh, Toka and DTM race driver games. I only have Toka one and two. So, Toka 1 and 2 I have, then the third Toka game on PS1 I still want, and then all the other Toka and DTM games on PS2, pretty much. Um, and PS3 maybe, I'm not sure if they were on PS3. I also want all the Burnout games. I only have Paradise and... Uh, I have one on PSP, like I have Burnout Legends. Burnout Legends and Paradise, all the others I don't have yet. I guess that's some of the games that I'm currently looking for. But you know, like, like I say, you don't have to get me those games or anything. I'll get them myself if, if I, when I'll have the money. But you know, if you happen to see it super cheap, then I mean, if you're willing to gift it to me, I'd definitely appreciate that. All right, I, that's super kind of you, man. Wow, I'll definitely give you a, a little list. <laughs> that's cool. I should totally go with you to that retro convention next year when I'll have a bit more money. Because currently the money is super low for me, but I'm in a, in a moment where I'm like fixing the money situation slowly. So hopefully next year I'll be better with the money. Two times a year, alright. So this is the 22nd next month. Hmm. It's close around the corner. I have so many Pokemon cards. But I'm, I'm probably never gonna sell my Pokemon cards because of emotional value. Yeah, we should create a Strunky plushie, how about that? Life-size Strunky plushie. For, for the for the female viewers that I don't do not have well male is also allowed of course if if you're male you're also allowed to buy it but I won't judge obviously just you know three two one. It didn't shift. 
Also, we have a night brace. Blood red skies. Sacrifice is going on tonight. I tried pressing start, but it didn't react. Buy a strong key plushie. <laughs> I do wonder if ever I'll be able to get my own merch. Maybe one day I'd have my own merch. I'd start with something simple as t-shirts. But you know, have to get a bit bigger for that. night place. I'm uh, performing a lot better now compared to like some of the previous races where I dived off a fucking mountain. <laughs> Despite liking the handling and being, well not necessarily liking, but still getting used to the car handling, but I'm kind of fine with it now. I still think this handles like a shopping cart. Apparently I'm 12 seconds ahead. GG. This game is fun. I like rally games a lot. Too bad the save file is just so fucking huge on my memory card. Not healthy. As are just two by health. Hey oh Hey oh Hey what's up Galactic? Nice to see you man. Europe, we're going to Portugal. When the World Rally Championship arrives at the most westerly country in Europe, the entire population takes time off to watch. The Rally of Portugal is run mainly on gravel roads by the coast. On every straight and turn, drivers pass a sea of spectators. They pack the Holy roadside shit. in their thousands, often spilling onto the road itself. 
<laughs> That's a lot of spectators. Portugal may not have turned out many rally champions, but this event is a definite winner. Yeah, for me it's problematic with the finances as well at the moment, but it is definitely something I'd want to uh, visit. Getting tired off to bed. Alright, uh, Slayer dude, thanks for chilling. I'll, I'll try my best to think of that list to write it down to you, just so you have an idea of the kind of games I'm interested in at the moment. Thank you very much for chilling, my bruh. Stay frosty. You have yourself a good night. I didn't check at the setup at all. It, it just automates into a pretty good setup generally, so I think I'm pretty safe just going with it. Oh yeah, just just no, just remember that I want to get the driver games as well. Ugh. Okay, here we go, Portugal. Three, two, one. Big jump. Into, into. <laughs> oh, if you want me to provide covers, all right, I'll do that. It's gonna be a decently long list, so that you have like a big chance, you know, like come across something that I might be interested in. Just, just don't be a crazy person and don't buy everything. Because I know how crazy you can be. <laughs> Got a bumpy road here, boys. Big jump. Eat. I saw a helicopter. Look at that helicopter. He's stalking me. Is it me or is this game running 60 FPS? This game is smooth as fuck. I think this is actually running at 60. console runs yeah but some some games run 60 even on console but you know I know the meme but for a console game this goes really smooth so I'm willing to believe that this might be 60 it is very super smooth
Guys have adapted not seeing beyond 30 frames, so no. PC Master Race is such a hoax, don't you know that a human eye can't see past 420 frames per second? Or 4.20 frames per second. Maybe that's even a better meme. I can only see 4.20 me. <laughs> okay, okay, I got it. I can only see 4.20 memes per second. Much of the crowds. Just driving around through nature with a rally car. This is just fucking relaxing, dude. I love this. The vibrations in the controller are also very nice. I like vibrating controllers, bro. Jim. Love the crowds yelling, like yelling and cheering when I make that jump, though. And that was nice. That was a good, good run. Say hello to my little friend. Albert, coming in. How you doing, little friend? We are in Portugal. Believe it or not.
I'm doing great. I had a big hangover in the morning, but now I'm doing fine. Hangover is gone, so I'm all good. I drank too much cider and beer at Light's Place last night. <laughs> Way too much. Like, those were some strong beers. Yeah, those were definitely super strong beers. I totally underestimated them, like... Pretty much drank them like they were regular beers, and I... I'll, I'll take a little bit more caution with the uh, Belgian beers next time. Special ones. Yeah, you know, beer is mostly a safe thing to drink. It's like cider, but that shit hits hard. I was, like, on the floor at Light's house a couple of times. And I genuinely had a bit of trouble cycling home. One beer, one chug, one empty bottle. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Big chug. I'm happy the game saves pretty quickly. Just gonna keep on going. Oh yeah, you know what games I should get? I should get the Motor Storm games. Those are fucking fun. doing this pretty pretty well I think. I feel like I'm taking this nice and fast. Getting okay, some annoying hairpins right here. But we'll manage try out. Oh dude Oh crap, light is zombie right back. 
I saw a familiar name in the team standings. I'll have to tell him when he gets back. <laughs> shit, shit, shit. Oh, that's my suspension. Until we get to uh, drive for villages and shit. Oh. oh wow, that was a close one. Point five, point five six seconds. That was super close. Oh, I didn't want to save that. I just want to save this. Ford driver? What? <laughs> Ford driver. I didn't say Ford driver. Awesome. We are Harry. Oh, man, it's only one AM. Boy. That helicopter keeps on frickin' chasing me. Oh, that was close. Caution, over 
Myself up there. Oof. Oh, that's not good. Uh oh. Okay. That almost went very bad. Big jump. Big. Oh wow, I felt no vibration during the landing. Dank. Much dank. Ooh. Back like after three punishing rounds, the next venue for the World Rally Championship is Spain. A country famous for its fiestas throws open its arms to welcome the WRC Carnival. The stages are all on tarmac roads around the Ret de Mar on the Costa Brava. Rallies held in the Catalan region, where the locals' pride and passion will be matched only by the drivers' will to win. I saw a familiar name, but that looks like a very quick one. I saw a very familiar name, like. one that we encountered in the past. <sighs> yep, in the game. I'll see if it'll show up in the split time. A little bit foggy for Spain. Never knew Spain would be this foggy. Hmm. His name is not on screen. Catalonia, hell yeah. Very long straight road, pretty much. 
on this one. Burns, there we go, in first place. Our buddy Burns, remember his name? Third now. This is pretty nice and fast. Oop. Damn, seven seconds ahead. Two minute two. That was a fun stage. Nice and fast speed. So no race during the day. Cause that previous one looked like it was like fucking uh, morning, but maybe it was day. And it oh, was just hi, a Mark. foggy day in Spain. Hi, doggy. <laughs> hey, shredding splinters. What's up, man? Nice to see you. How is you doing? Anyway, Two. how is your set time? Go! One thing, left four. Yeah, you missed the tanks. Into very long, right three. I did three battles of Battle Royale. First Into battle, I was long, second place, I believe. Yeah, I was second place. 50, right three. And the next two, I won Into both in a row. Three. And then I maxed out my rank. Into long right four, Titan. Fifty, very long, left three. Fifty, right two, over crest. Fifty, tapping right. Over crest. Fifty, left five. Ah! Oh, we're nine seconds ahead. Big oof. Last night was on the roll. I was drunk as fuck last night. I sucked ass as far as I remember. <laughs> I was genuinely drunk as fuck last night. Not gonna lie. I had a big fucking hangover in the morning. Oh. Relaxing, eating some forbs. Nice.
I've already had my food for today. I lost my awesome lead because I crashed my fucking car off of the thing. Man, early 2000s games have such a nice, charming graphics, so... But yeah, I think tomorrow uh, will be a longer World of Tanks session. Uh, today was over pretty quickly, like was one hour, because I did the battle rail thing. And tomorrow I'll start with a two hour XP grind session for the AMX 30. And after that, I'll probably drive in the Panhard. Yeah, a lot of a lot of graphic styles really have their charm. I appreciated PS1 graphics as well when I played more of that. But then PS2, like, yeah, that has its own like charm, especially with like cars, car games and shit. Like Gran Turismo 3 had like a very similar graphic style to this. It looks retro, but very beautiful. Like, it's still, like, this looks pretty good. Even, in my opinion, even for today's standards, this looks pretty good. Like, sure, it doesn't compare to, like, a AAA game from nowadays, but... This aged very well, in my opinion. Yeah, I like the... The graphics went up like crazy from PS1 to 2. Two Graphical label significant. The era struck a good balance between graphics and gameplay. So a lot of modern games in this era can't even do. Yeah, I mean, the the uh, mainstream game industry has changed in itself. It's like here's the thing. 
It's like you have mainstream music, that sucks. You also have mainstream video games, that suck. That's because music has always been a popular thing, I guess, right? I guess you had, like, good pop music in the 80s. Well, then you went to 90s and 2000s, 2010s, and then you got shitty pop music. So, the bigger something becomes, the more shitty things will come out of the mainstream. You know, games have been bigger, or games are bigger now than they've ever been. So just like music, getting shitty mainstream music. Now video games have shitty mainstream games. Kind of see the similarities there, how it just affects because it's a bigger... Bigger form of media than ever. Also, welcome, Ken. Happy to see you, bro. Games can definitely be art. Just like music is an art form. I think creating video games and movies are all art forms in it of itself. <laughs> sure, some games might have more of an artistic vision and goal than others. We got wet weather. Ironically enough, the devs or publishers calling themselves electronic arts are the least kind of artists in today's gaming gaming uh, uh, Three, two, industry. One. Shit. Underestimated the rain. Okay, so we're in fucking Spain. We've had foggy weather. We've had clouds. Now we have rain. We haven't had any sun whatsoever. I'm kind of sucking. A bumpy road, by the way. Bumpy as fuck. Invasion. I'm never gonna go to Spain. It's just shitty weather. It's rain, fog, and clouds. It's never sunny. I have proof from WRC. Yeah. 
Hell yeah. Dude, this game is fun. I'm enjoying myself so much more just because of the difficulty balance. Like, already, I'm just not saying that Colin McRae 1 or 2 were bad games. They were great games, but for my personal enjoyment, I enjoy this game a lot more. Just because of the difficulty being way more balanced for me personally, at least on the normal difficulty. I, you know, I, I feel like when I I, I I feel like I constantly need to push in order to stay ahead. And if I do make mistakes, I will pay for it and like lose first place. So it's like pretty well balanced. Three, two, one, go! One hundred and two. I'm looking at the car, and it looks as if the windows are open on the side, I'm not 100% sure, but it looks like it. But it would make sense if they have open windows, just so that they can easily escape the car in case they wreck it or something. Eight. Oh yeah, I made that big mistake though at the start. Sure to catch up. There we go. Ooh, almost hit that guardrail. Almost. Good thing I didn't. Oh boy. Brother, what shall we play after this? My idea would be GTA. How's everyone else thinking? Are you guys in the mood for GTA after this? By City Stories? Splinters sounds positive. That's good. Very long, right? Four, <laughs> you are some fuck. Oh, by the way, I have something important to share. I got I got a match on Tinder today. So guys, I'm gonna stop streaming. My life is now in the hands of of a woman. So yeah, goodbye. This is my last stream. Just kidding. Not about the match part though, I actually did get a match. Came first, you have unlocked our Let me smash. Leave. Yeah, probably. 
And uh, when I'll be talking to her, I'll be like... Anyway, how is your sex life? Where's Richard Burns? Third place, Richard Burns. You are tearing me apart, Lisa! Hello! Eventually, we'll have the first fight and go like. You're tearing me apart, Lisa. Her name is not Lisa, sadly. Her name is Kimberly. But well, that her profile said nothing in Dutch, only in English. So maybe like she's from somewhere else. She said, uh, and she's living here. I don't know. So I just asked in English if she speaks Dutch or not, because there was literally nothing about Dutch on her profile. Didn't get a response yet, because I was actually very late with messaging her. I saw I had a match and I never looked it up. I never opened the app until like a few hours later because I was busy doing shit. Argentina. The WRC now crosses the Atlantic to another Spanish speaking country. Argentina offers almost every kind of terrain a competitor can face, from the vast, dusty wilderness to mountain roads that snake up into the clouds. Dude, that looks beautiful though. I think one of the things a special kind of person to survive out on the open pampas and it will take a certain kind of driver to do the same in the rally of Argentina. What a fucking guy on a horse in the middle of a rally? <laughs> just dr riding my horse here. I just like rally cars passing by me. <laughs> um I think one thing that I really like about rally games is just the amount of nature you see. You know, I just like different, like just visiting different parts of nature across the world. I keep Les a little tied to a chain in the corner so he doesn't ruin the show or grab my ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Cousinette is both a douche, but he's also pretty cool. Three. Just like Laszlo, I kind of like him, but I also think he's kind of a douche. Beautiful roads. Dude, we're like seven seconds ahead. Holy fuck. Get easy. I haven't hit any trees in a while. Strunky, are you sure you're playing this rally game properly? Yeah, exactly. They're both douches in different ways. Like... Cousin Ed is more of a douche just because he's more like a bully. I don't know, either because he's like... Trying to be an alpha male and, you know, picking on others to make himself look superior, so... 
that's one way how people, you know, try to make themselves look more confident and stuff. Which can often be out of own low self-esteem. Uh, but yeah, Laszlo in himself, he's just a little bit of a... A different kind of douche. Like, he's not a prick, but he's more like just like a... A little bit like a pleb. Yeah, exactly. Doc with an ego complex of the slime back and later a pervert. Yeah, I feel kind of bad for what happens to him in uh, GTA 5. Yeah, definitely later on. You know, through the times he gets more and more full of himself. Early on, he's like pretty. Uh, you know, relaxed, but... Maybe, maybe Cousin Ed inspired him. Ooh, big rain. Three, two, one, go! 50 left, four. 50 left, four. Shit. That's a lot of rain and fog. Draw distance reminds me of PS1 now. That's not a good start. Why did I deserve that? Oh shit. Oh shit, what the fuck? Physics? I touched... I touched that rail guard and suddenly my car came to a stop. Fucking GG. Ed's asshole of ism did serve as a starting ground, plus he went from co-hosting via rock to actually having a voice station never had because of Ed's impressive nature in the return. Yeah. Yeah, I do, like, during VCS, I do often feel bad for Laszlo, like how Ed treats him. And there's like a moment in uh, Vice City where Laszlo is the DJ of, uh, or the host of V Rock. And supposedly Cousin Ed calls him, but he has like a totally different voice there. And he's like mock whining that his job got taken by Laszlo.
There we go, no more rain. Three, two, one, go! Okay, right move. two, over crest. Into right three. Fifty, long left four. Fifty, right oh three. That's a bit dangerous. Big jump. Big jump. Big. Don't cut. I can't even cut here. Seconds ahead, holy fuck. Yeah, understandable, because he probably hated Ed. So I was like, huh, I took your job, you're pathetic and mean nothing to me, because you can't bully me anymore, because I'm on the radio and not you. Something like that. Alright, we'll just finish this rally, then we'll do Vice City Stories. Finishing this. Three, two, one, go! Uh, the, f the history is pretty funny because, you know, he starts out being uh, the host of V-Rock. Uh, it's... Does he is he hosting KDST? No, no he's dead, right? That was someone else. I'm not sure anymore. Or was he in KDST in San Andreas? I'm not sure anymore. Chatterbox is in GTA 3. And in uh, Liberty City Stories, but in San Andreas, that's before that. I think he hosts KDST there. I'm not too sure though, I could be wrong. One 
No, I remember, KDST was not Laszlo. That was entirely someone else I remember now. So he does Chatterbox as well in San Andreas? Radioax has Sage. Is a female uh, host, and KDST was another guy entirely. I remember now. Uh, I, I don't remember his name, but it was definitely was Laszlo. Yeah, something like that. Some some dude. I, I don't know who exactly, but. He calls in on one of the radio stations begging for a job. Oh, there we go. So he loses his job, probably because V-Rock didn't exist anymore because, you know, I guess rock and metal kind of died out there. I mean, you still had, like, Ozzy in Radio X. You know, Radio X was still kind of rock and metal, but not exactly the same as V-Rock. Um, even though you did have Ozzy on V-Rock as well and Ozzy on Radio X, so. But, yeah, he then gets Chatterbox. So that's where he just chats with people and talks about stuff. That's during the, the like, early 2000s-ish, during G GTA 3 and Liberty City Stories. And then in GTA 4... Which is later, I know that he does integrity. Which is he's like basically Chatterbox died out as well since people just don't listen to the radio as much anymore and they don't call uh him anymore. So instead of getting calls from people, he just looks up people in public to try and talk to them. You know, he bring tries to go to the people because the people stopped going to him. And then in GTA 5, I guess he kind of sells out to do other things, you know, with like, I remember, but there was something involving Laszlo and like uh, Michael's daughter. But I don't remember exactly. There was some kind of show, I think, that he hosted. And that's where he became big again, but like kind of a sellout, I guess. Tommy T. Nightmares. There we go. There we go. <clears throat> I can't wait, honestly, to play San Andreas on the stream. Sure, I, I grew up with all the GTA games. One, two, three by City, San Andreas in that order. But um, Vice City was very nostalgic for me, to me, like, you know, uh, watching that intro and stuff gave me, like, nostalgia and stuff, but I think still San Andreas was, like, the most time spent playing. Like, I spent most time playing San Andreas just because it was a big game, right? was like the bigger game and it still is the biggest GTA in my opinion. It's better than bigger than four and five in my opinion. Like the map is bigger. You had so many cool things added like the custom uh, clothing and the tattoos and you could make CJ fat or muscly and get the piloting skill, the car skill, all the skills and shit. Like all the little RPG elements that I personally loved and some people I guess didn't like but I personally loved it. Because it didn't go too deep into the RPG, Three, it was like, you know, two, one, go. just take care of CJ. 
but still making him his own character. Like, despite me still liking GTA 5 and especially 4, I do think that in a lot of ways GTA games went steps backwards after San Andreas. San Andreas was just a new height reached and they never really got back to that. Too complex. Uh, I don't really think so. I mean, there were like gun skills, but most of the stuff just went up by its own, just the more you did it. And a lot of stuff was also optional. You know, like, building muscles was mostly optional. I think you only needed to do it like once in the mission. Lung capacity you did need to like improve for one mission. And then you just had to eat every now and then if you had a long gameplay session. Hunger did reset after saving, I actually heard not too long ago. tree on the side of that cliff. 0 0.19. Oh. suspension again. Wow, nine seconds, fuck. Hope that's enough to still win the rally. <clears throat> Nice. Oh. Yeah. 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 Still early. Feels like it's late at night. It's still pretty early. The teams now mingle with the tourists in Cyprus. Welcome to one of the Ooh, slowest rallies in the competition. But as speeds come down, so the heat rises. 
The gravel route takes it out of the resort of Limassol and up into the Trudos Mountains. That's where the speeds drop, which means higher temperatures inside the car and long hours at the wheel. For the drivers, this will be no holiday. Ooh, that's a fast track. Basically, start over at that moment. How many rallies we got? Oh shit! A lot left. Not even halfway yet into the championship. Fun game, I really like this. I can't wait to play more. Absolutely amazing game. <laughs> 